What are the most important things a brand new to reunion person should know? <clears throat> you know, one of the things that I have found in, um, in dealing with people with reunions, whether ma mainly the adoptee, is don't overwhelm the person. You know, um, if somebody says, oh, we're having a family reunion, you can come and meet everybody. <laughs> And that just, and, and it's happened. I mean, people have done that. And it just gets overwhelming. And then the whole family doesn't hear from the adopted person for months and months and months and months and can't figure out, well, you know, didn't she like us? Didn't he like us? What happened? Well, what happened is they have to process meeting all these people that are somewhat like them when they've grown up their whole life with people that aren't like them. And, and just the whole intensity of a whole group of people that you're related to can be overwhelming. So a little at a time, you know, meet the birth mother first, or, you know, and then you can meet her other kids if she has them, or the, you know, what, just a little at a time. So that would be my advice for anybody new in reunion. If somebody says, come to the family reunion, say, you know, maybe not this year. <laughs> <laughs> so um, anyway. I think it's a little harder when people are having to travel to meet. I know, you know, if, if an adoptee goes to the birth mom, and then there's the whole family that they're dealing with yeah. right off the bat. But I think what's most important to realize for all of us, really, is that we are really all people who have had an unexpected trauma in our lives. That is outside the normal thing that people have. Most people are not adopted. Most women keep their children. And in that kind of traumatic stance, all sorts of stuff can happen if you're unaware, if you haven't done your work. And many of us haven't. One person's done the work and they're getting ready for reading and the other person's just sort of waiting and isn't quite prepared for that. And trauma makes us do things that don't seem normal or right. It's, it's in us. It affects everything we do, every relationship that we have. Um, and I also think, I think we have, we put a lot of expectation on reunion mm -hmm. to just fix it. And I think it's, it's, we come to a reality, wow, we now have this person who we've been yearning and searching for, and they're right here in the flesh, and we don't know them, it feels like a stranger. It's gonna take time, so take things slow to know that in time the relationship will build or it may fizzle out. I know a lot of adoptees, they have the honeymoon of reunion and then it just slowly dissipates because they don't know how to almost recreate a relationship with an adult person who is the birth mother or the adoptee, it's how do you do this? There's no handbook and it's just trusting your instinct and reaching out to each other, I think is key. You know what? I was just drafting up some ideas about this presentation and I think for birth mothers and fathers, don't wait for us. Be direct. If you wait for us, it's going to take years. There's a part of us that needs to see and know that our birth parents want us, need us again. And we, we will test that part in reunion. Do they really want me? Do they really need me? Mm -hmm. Approach them, be direct, don't wait. Let them know you're thinking about them. You wanna meet with them. They may not be ready, it may be overwhelming. But in time, hopefully, which is what I'm doing with my birth father. <laughs> I'm letting him see I'm a human. I want you. I want to respect you. All I can do is keep sending out those messages and hope, for, and hope that he'll come to reunion. But I think that it's not a quick fix. And um, it takes work. It takes effort. Reunion takes effort. It's a whole nother ball of wax. <laughs> and it is adding, you know, a 
another relationship into your life. And um, it's a beautiful thing. And it can be painful. When I had reunion with my biological brother in my 20s, I, I wrote a poem. Like, I didn't get to spend any time with him, my life. And I didn't get to slide down a slide with him. I didn't get to swing on a swing with him. And it was really hard for me to, to build. I could see he wanted me so much, but it was really hard for me. Because I, I just couldn't bring myself. Because it was like every time I got close to him, I felt the loss. And I had to push him away. It was this irony of attaching and it was so overwhelming for me. I, I knew I needed it, but it just triggered my loss. And I think that happens with adoptees and birth parents. It, it, the closer I get to you, the more I feel the loss. Because I'm feeling the love and the loss. It's the whole dichotomy in working through grief. It's, it's hard. It's challenging. I've cried buckets. <laughs> I mean, it's just, and I'm a therapist, and I'm still dealing with it. And, but I love to be on panels and talk about it because it's real. We're real people. And um, it needs to be heard how hard it is. And I respect that. So thank you for having me here today. Thank you for that.